Today, we're going to use a lips tool in Adobe Illustrator to create animal characters. Let us create a new file. Go create new and title it vector animal or animal vector or you can say animal character design. First thing is first, we will learn about the layout. So interface. So first thing we notice on top, this is called menu bar. So if we go to file, you can create a new file or you can save, save as, save as a copy. But the really important thing about Illustrator is if you want to share the final product with somebody, you have to go export it, export it as, and you can choose some files that you can put it upload or um, share with somebody else without using Illustrator tool. And edit. You can see paste, spelling check, etc., etc. And then you go to object. You don't see a whole lot of option right now because I don't have anything on the artboard. But you will see more. And then type select effect view window. So we want to go to window and then open up Pathfinder. Those tools we're going to use a lot. And swatches open. If you don't see color swatches, go to window and then go all the way down to swatches. The, these are alphabetically um, ordered so you can you alphabetically organize so you can find them easily. Now view, I want you to open up smart guide. So it's going to have a lot of guides like you see this pink lines. It'll show me where the exact center line is from the page. It says center, right? And I'm going to talk about tool. These tools, we're just going to use mainly about four or five today, maybe two. Um, so first thing is selection tool, and then we're going to use rectangle tool or ellipse tool, round rectangle, polygonal tool, all these tools, but we're going to use ellipse tool only. And now we're going to go on to here. This is inside color. This is stroke color, outline color, and this means you don't want any color on those things. So which one is on top? This is fill. So if you don't want any color inside, you just want the stroke. You go click none over this fill. So if I create something, there's no color. Right now it's white on white. You can't see it. But if you have a color, you will be able to see it better. Or some, some, okay, let me try this. See, you can see through because there is no color inside. Okay, I'm gonna go, okay. And this one, if you want some color here, but then you don't want the outline, you click on this so that you see this is in the front and then you go none. So then right now I am creating, oops, those shapes. And you just notice what I did is I click on a blank spot. And if you really want to measure exact size, this can happen too. So if you want a perfect circle, and I'm going to change it, 300, and click OK. So this is a perfect 300 point circle. Okay, that's how you measure things. Okay. If you press down the shift bar, I mean space bar on the bottom on your keyboard. This one turns into a hand, little hand, and I grab it, move it around. This white space is called artboard, and I can just click down and move around my artboard. Okay, and if you have another shape, one shape over here, I just randomly made it, and I go to the selection tool and click down on option key, and then move it over, I immediately can make duplicates. And if I want to select more than one shape, I press down the shift key on my keyboard and click, click, click. You notice those four things are selected because you see the blue dots in the center of the circle. And the bounding box is just going around those four shapes. And those two are not selected, so I can just move them around, just four of them. What if I select uh, these two? I'm, I can also go drag over these two shapes and then you can select those two. But sometimes you just drag over and accidentally select the three when you want just two. My shift key down, you can select or deselect whatever item that you want to um, select. Okay. What else? And oh, yeah. If you want to make something really perfect from the center, I hover over on a blank sheet of a blank sheet of artboard and press down the shift and option. And you see this one becomes really big in proportion from the center of the page. OK, 
okay how is it different so let me show you so usually if you don't press down that you can just drag it you see it's actually uh getting bigger from the side right here this is where i started and it goes like this but if i go this and press down the shift and option key it becomes larger from the center point so i know exactly this is in center and if you want a perfectly proportionate circle then you press down the shift key and then this becomes a circle so all those shortcuts are important for you to create something more proportionate and uh, appealing now let's create a vector animal using ellipse tool First, go to the shape tool and click down on it for 2 seconds to look for ellipse tool if you don't see it. Sometimes you see rectangle. And if that happens, just cancel it out. And then you're going to press down the shift key and option key together to make a perfect circle from the center. And this is going to be the face of the animal. And then you are going to create an oval. This time you don't want to press down anything because you don't want a perfect circle because it's going to be the ear. And then I'm going to make a panda. So I'm going to make another oval inside the face. Only covers up the half of the face. And I'm going to hover over my cursor to find the angled arrow and rotate it a little bit. Then I'm going to go selection tool because this oval that I am about to rotate is not selected. So I'm going to select that first and hover over and rotate it the other way around. And then I'm going to go right click on my mouse or control key on your keyboard to arrange and send it to back. I'm changing the order of the shapes. Then I'm going to go to lips tool again. This time I am going to make the eyeball with the perfect circle. So I'm going to press down the shift key. And then I want the highlight, which is like a really light circle. So I will move it over. Sometimes you have to zoom in to do that because cursor will be not exactly choosing what I want. And then I'm going to go to selection tool. Choose ear, shift key down, one, two, three, four circles, not the face, only those. And then go to Object, Transform, Reflect. And I'm going to click on Vertical and Copy. Then that group that I selected just copied. And now I'm going to move it over so now I know that they're perfectly symmetrical. Now I'm going to click on the ear again. Control key down or right click on your mouse and send it to back. And then I'm going to go to Ellipse Tool again for the nose. There we go. So we have the whole face done. Now it's time to do the body. So I'm going to go to lips tool again and create a perfect circle from the center. Now the pink guide is telling me that I'm at the center. And so I create that body, the belly. And then maybe I have to create a little bit smaller. So I'll move it over again. The pink guide is telling me if I'm centered or off-centered. And then I'm going to send it to back, click on it. Oh, if that happens, I notice that something's wrong. It doesn't work because there's a gray bar, which means I'm in a very, it, you don't have to know about this, it's complicated. So just like get out of there and then arrange send to back. And then you're going to have small ovals and then I'm going to click on the option key and drag it over the selected item so that I know that I'm duplicating the same exact thing. Sometimes I make a mistake by clicking on a blank sheet with the ellipse tool. Then I have a pop-up window. I'm just going to close it. And those feet are a little too round. So I'm going to do it again. So I delete that again, I'm going to click on the one leg and then option key down to drag it over to the other side. So I know that perfectly same thing. And then I'm going to select just two legs with the body and then I'm going to go to Pathfinder to combine all the shape and then send it to back again. 
So what Pathfinder does is combine multiple shapes into one shape. And then I'm going to color. So I am going to select any shapes that I want the black and then I'm going to fill and then click black. So when you're selecting multiple shapes, press down the shift key on your keyboard. And then because the eyeball, if it's completely black, it's going to be black on black. So I'm going to pick a really dark gray. And then the highlights, I see black stroke, which I don't want. So I'm going to click on those two highlight circles by pressing down shift key while selecting two shapes. And then go to stroke and then none. So those are white but no black strokes. Now I'm going to just stretch my cursor uh, over with the selection tool to choose the entire thing and then move the entire thing over to the side. And I'm going to start another character. This time I'm going to do the bunny. So same thing, I'm going to press down the shift key and control key down to make a perfect circle. This time I just want the ears so I'm not going to press down any button. And then I'm going to select both of them, make sure that I have black stroke while I'm working. And then I'm going to press down the option key while moving over the other ear to make sure that's all even. And then I'm going to select all three shapes and go to Pathfinder, the first one. Now I'm going to create the inside of the ear. So I'm going to go to the lips tool and choose um, draw on the ellipse, like the long one. that. So a little smaller than the actual year. And then create another oval shape that's kind of like as big as the face. Um, and then I am going to select both shapes with the selection tool. Go back to the selection tool once you create the circle and select those two shapes and go to Pathfinder and choose the subtract. That means the circle which is on top will be subtracted from the long oval. We want the exact thing again, so we go Object, Transform, Reflect, choose Vertical, and Copy. And move it over once it's copied. So now you have very symmetrical ears and all the face too. Same thing with the eyeballs. We're going to make one side. And then, do you notice the eye should be lower? You want to create more forehead to create that cuteness. And then option key down. Oh, you want the highlight. White highlight, otherwise it kind of looks really dark. Yep, right there. And you want to go zoom in a little bit to make sure you, you arrange it correctly. Okay, shiny ball, eyeball. 